Hey, so I thought it would be fun to redo one of my favorite colorful eyeshadow looks and record a video on it so you guys could see how I do this. I don't do a whole lot of colorful looks, so it's rare, but I really like this color combo. I think it looks super cool. I'm really into green eyeshadows, but I haven't quite found my holy grail for greens, so <laughs> this is what I have to work with right now. I use the Morph 35B palette and a little bit from the Pretty Vulgar Nightingale palette and um, I think it turned into a pretty cool look. I wasn't sure what lipstick would go well with it so I did gray because that goes with just about everything. I hope that you enjoy. I hope this is something you would be interested in. If you'd like to see any other color combos I can try my hand at them. I'm getting better at colors, so I might be able to do whatever you'd like to see. The Morph 35B palette has pretty much any color you could possibly want, so just let me know what you would like to see and I'll try to tackle that for you. I'm recording a voiceover this time because I was doing this really quick one day and didn't really have time to do the whole shebang and set up, so easy voiceover this time. Uh, side note, sorry you can hear every squishy spitty sound that my mouth is making. Alright, here I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Porcelain Beige. The concealer is really just to give the eyeshadow something to stick onto. Oop, uh, technical difficulties there for a minute. Um, this is the Morph 35B palette. I say Morph, I know it's supposed to be Morphe, but I think that sounds ugly, so I say Morph. Here I am using the lightest color, uh, it's Ziggy, and it's just kind of like a light seafoam green. I'm just putting that all over my eyelids in kind of a circular shape so that it gives a foundation for the darker colors to lay on top of. Okay, now that I'm like listening back to the voiceover, I don't think that's a squishy spitty sound. I think that it's something about how my mic is moving. I'm like using the mic on my earphones so I blame that it's not my mouth I'm not gross well I am kind of gross but not in that way okay so I'm just doing the same thing on the other eyelid um yeah not really much to say there it kind of speaks for itself Okay, now I'm just lining the bottom of the eyelid to tie everything in and make it look even. Sorry that I look insane rolling my eyes back in my head, but it's all part of the game. Okay, now I'm going in with a mid-tone color, and that is the color ink, also from the Morph 35B palette. It just kind of segues in the darker colors, I guess. If you can't tell, I still really have no idea what I'm doing when it comes to explaining what I'm doing. Like, I know what I'm doing in my head, but when I have to tell other people what I'm doing, I have no idea. Okay, here I am going in with what I thought would be my darkest color. It is the color Forest, also from the Morph 35B palette. It was not dark enough. It's supposed to be like a dark forest green, but... It didn't really work out the way I was expecting, so you can see me here going in with some black. It's kind of blunt and dark looking, but it ends up looking pretty good at the end. Um, yeah, I just wasn't getting the contrast I wanted with the green, so I had to make an executive decision and put in something super dark. Yeah, as you can tell, this was an absolute delight trying to blend this out. Um, it was actually horrible, and I hated every second of it, but it turned out okay, I think. Okay, here I am horribly rolling my eyes back in my head again and trying to blend out that bottom lash line. Oh, and very important, I had to go back in with the color Ziggy and lighten the edges up because I felt like they were... Um, kind of dark and needed to be a little more ombre -ed. Okay, so I'm using that little flat brush to go in and do what I consider a cut crease. I'm not sure if it's like what other people would consider a cut crease, but uh, maybe like a halo? Mm, not sure. I'm not very technical, but I am going back in with my Tarte Shape Tape 
and I'm just kind of drawing in a light center so I can put a different color in. I think this is one of the most nerve-wracking parts, like maybe even worse than doing a wing, because I'm always worried that the inside circles are going to be different shapes and it's going to look crazy, but usually it turns out okay because you can blend it out like I'm doing here and it usually helps kind of even things out. Um, it was a little bit bright, I felt like, so I put some more black on my brush and softened up the sides. I never really know what to say during voiceover, so I'm kind of like awkwardly sitting here hoping that I'm explaining everything okay, but I'm not really sure. I feel like talking during the video is easier, but editing sucks. Oh, I almost forgot. Uh, the green color that I'm using is apple cider, and the black color that I'm using is pebble, and they're both from the Morph 35B palette. Okay, uh, now I'm adding some shimmer, and that is in the color Moss Boss. Here I am using my Pretty Vulgar Nightingale palette and I'm using the color Break Free to highlight my brow bone and my inner corner. Oh, this is my holy grail of coal eyeliners. It is the Pixie Endless Silky Eye Pencil and it's in the color Black Noir. Did I say that right? Uh, I'm not sure. Sorry that you guys have to watch me stick a pencil in my eye, but it's very important to the video. And here is my current felt tip eyeliner. It is the Ico London I Do Liquid Eyeliner in Carbon Black. Uh, what a funny, punny name. If you've watched any of my other videos, you probably already know the drill on how I do my eyeliner. I just draw a line coming from the outer corner straight up, then a line diagonally connecting to my lid, and then I color it in and I tweak it if it needs tweak, but usually it doesn't because I am perfect in everything I do. Here I have the Thrive Cosmetics Liquid Lash Extensions Mascara in Brin Rich Black. Um, if you watched my last video, you'll know that this is not my favorite mascara. Um, it might be some people's favorite mascara, I'm not dissing it, but it just doesn't work very well for my eyelashes. So... I'm kind of just using this right now until I get a new one in my Ipsy bag. I will be putting on fake eyelashes in this video, but I always like to put my mascara on first so I don't mess up my fake eyelashes with a bunch of clumpy mascara. Okay, here is my eyelash glue. It is the Kiss Trip Lash Adhesive in clear. Um, if you've never used fake eyelashes before, you just put a little bit of the glue on the eyelashes and shake it around blow on it and make sure it's dried and kind of tacky and then just stick that bad boy on um a lot of people do use tweezers to help sometimes i use tweezers but i kind of find that harder than using my fingers i guess i can feel what's going on better if i use my fingers but sometimes you need a tweezer to get in there and stick in the inner corners Oh, also, these eyelashes are from Kiss Cosmetics, and they're the Lash Couture Faux Mink Lashes in Muse, and they look pretty good. Okay, I got this highlight in my Ipsy bag, and I really love it. This one's also kind of punny, and it's the Estate Do Me Baked Highlighter in Lit. If you know me, you know that nose highlighter is my favorite thing. I think it's so cute and it pulls together every look so well. And lastly, I am using the NYX Liquid Suede Lipstick in Stone Fox. I know a lot of people have a bad opinion on NYX because it does kind of dry out your lips. But I like NYX. It's cheap. It's a pretty good formula. It goes on easy. It lasts a long time. The only drawback is that... It is kind of drying, but I guess you get what you pay for, and when you're cheap like me, um, NYX is like a godsend. I also have every color you could ever imagine, so I love that. 
After Christmas, I got one of the big packs of minis for 50% off, and I have every color I could ever want. And that's it. This is the finished product. I really love how this turned out. I think it looks super cool. Okay, so that was the video. Um, hopefully you guys liked that. Hopefully it was easy to follow. If there's anything else you would like to see from me, any kind of different color palettes, different style of eyeshadow, just make some suggestions to what you might like to see. There's a few things that I've been thinking about doing, but suggestions always help. So just let me know what you'd like to see, and I'd love to try something new.